Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the RBI circulars questions for the month of October 2023. So let's start the session. Bahut hi important session hai. The questions that I'm going to discuss today. Uh, you will see the same questions in various credit officer exams, journalist officer exams or lending operations uh, exams. Koi NAPFID ka, Central Bank of India, Bank of Maharashtra. Ye sab jo exams honne hai. Usme ye questions repeat honne wale hai, right? My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years now. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts, okay? So first question, very important question. What is the maximum loan amount a urban cooperative bank can offer can offer on gold loan on a bullet repayment basis? First of all, what is a bullet repayment basis? In a bullet repayment basis, there is no EMI. No EMI, koi EMI nahi hoti. So whatever the loan amount is, it is repaid in one single installment, right? So 2020 ko aapne loan liya, five year ka loan liya, right? 10 lakh rupees ka. So 2025 ko ek single payment hoga with interest. So that is bullet repayment. There is no EMI. One single installment is there at the maturity. Maturity pe ek single payment karenge aap. Hai. So the maximum loan amount a UCB can offer on a gold loan on a bullet repayment basis is 4 lakh rupees. Limit has been extended. Hai. Pehle kam tha, ab bad chuka hai. And wo is UCB de sakte hai, who has... Uh, completed who has met the overall priority sector lending target if the urban cooperative bank has met the urban uh, has met the priority sector lending target then they can offer this gold loan on a bullet repayment basis agar aapne psl ka target uh, jo hai met kar liya hai complete kar liya hai to bhi aap ye loan offer kar sakte hain gold loan on a bullet repayment basis bullet repayment basis jo term hai ye maine pichle exams mein kafi baar dekhi hai rrb ke exams mein credit officer ke exam mein although this is an rba circular but this term is important please note it down bhulna nahi hai when PCA, PCA framework, I hope you are aware of the PCA framework. What is PCA framework? Prompt corrective actions. First of all, the full form. See, uh, in 2018, 2019, the banks were under huge stress. The PSU banks were under huge stress. NPA level was high. Uh, still, the banks were opening new branches. Banks, The PSU banks were in losses. They were on the verge of bankruptcy. That's why the RBI came up with rules with a proper framework that if the NPA level is above certain threshold limit, you cannot open new branches, right? Certain limitation were set. That was the PCA framework in depth. I have done a lecture on this. It's available on bankexamstudy.com. So when the PCA framework for NBFC, uh, now the PCA framework is going to be extended on government owned NBFC. So it is going to be implemented from 1st of October 2024. The PCA framework would be implemented to government NBFCs. Okay. So how much notice should DCCB uh, district uh, cooperative central uh, bank district cooperative central bank DCCB district cooperative central bank if they want to close down if they want to close down uh, close a branch okay then they should give a notice of three months to the customers to their customers okay a proper notification proper circular is there regarding that agar ek dccb apni branch band karna chahata hai, they need to give first of all notice uh, they need a permission from rbi whether we can do that or not rbi will check uh, why they are closing down uh, the branch reasoning kya hai whether the customers have other options right uh, why they are closing it down in whose favor what is the goal behind it okay then they'll do it. So three months ka notice dena padega. What is depositors ed, uh, education and awareness fund? Uska purpose kya hai? So when a person, when a depositor a, account holder dies or um, uh, when the deposit doesn't show up to claim the deposits. Agar kisi ne, kisi, uh, kisi ne bhi bande ne paise jama karai and he dies. So what happens to that money if the nominee is not registered or even if the nominee doesn't come up to claim the money, the money is lying up with the banks. So the bank submit that money to the RBI, okay, to the Depositor Education and Awareness Fund to promote Depositors Education and Awareness Fund. That is the goal, okay. 
So what is the key measure outlined in the RBI circular to strengthen the customer service rendered by credit information companies and credit institution? So I hope you are aware of the Sybil. When any company, when any bank or institution is accessing the user's credit record, a proper SMS and email should be sent to the user. So this is intimation. Hai. And if there is any change in the credit records of a, of a customer, that should be timely updated. If, they, if it is not timely updated, the CIs, they need to pay 100 rupee fine per day. So this is a circular, hai, bahut lamba, but this is just hai, hai? repeat. Karke sun sakte hai. Intimation of access to credit information report and updation of credit information with CICs. So, कभी भी कोई आपके credit records check करता है, आपको information जाना चाहिए. Intimation of access should be sent as an alert, as an SMS and email to you. What is a non-callable deposit? A new concept, non-callable मतलब, it's an FD, which cannot be prematurely withdrawn, which cannot be broken. एक ऐसी FD जिसको आप time से पहले तोड़ नहीं सकते. आपने 5 साल की FD कराई, 6 महिने बाद आपको पैसे की जरूरत पड़ गी और आपने वो break कर दी. But uh, non-callable, you cannot break it. Okay, it is a deposit uh, where depositors cannot withdraw their money before the maturity of the deposit. Okay, that is a uh, non-breakable FD in simple terms. What is the minimum amount for offering non-callable term deposits? So it is one crore. A crore, a crore se kam ki FD non-breakable nahi ho sakti. ऐसा नहीं अब दो लाख की एफडी कराओ और बैंक वाले बोलेंगे ये नहीं टूटेगी मिनिमम 1 करोड़ रुपए व्हाई आरबीआई गेव दैट ऑप्शन सो दैट द ऑन द नॉन कॉलेबल टीडीज नॉन कॉलेबल एफडीज इंटरेस्ट रेट वुड बी स्लाइटली हायर सो दैट द बैंक्स कैन बी श्योर कि ये पैसा हमारे पास ही रहेगा फॉर नेक्स्ट 5 4 ईयर व्हाटएवर द मैच्योरिटी पीरियड ऑफ द एफडी इज बैंक को कंफर्म रहेगा कि हमारे पास ये पैसा इतने टाइम के लिए है Otherwise, see, because of the internet banking, people are treating their FD as saving bank account. They are breaking FDs every day. They are making FDs every day and breaking it every day. So uh, the banks wants to make sure that certain sum of money is with them for uh, for certain certain sum of period. Five years' FD, so five years are with them. So uh, at least to be one crore's FD, which is uh, non-callable, it can't be small. What is the new definition of bulk deposit for regional rural banks? So if you go to a bank, if you check the interest rate chart, FD is ka hota hai. So it is different uh, for 1 crore and above, interest rate is slightly higher sometimes. And for less than 1 crore, it is different, okay. For bulk deposit, the definition for RRB, it has been changed to 1 crore. So new definition of bulk deposit for RRBs is 1 crore rupee. And what is the minimum net worth required for payment uh, aggregator cross border? Who is a payment aggregator? I, I hope you already aware of Razor Pay, Insta Mojo, CC Avenue, Just Pay, <coughs> and now even Paytm is having uh, the payment aggregator. So, a uh, system hai unka. They are an API, and who has uh, signed up? Uh, who has association with all the banks, payment wallets, pay payment options, right? And they give you an uh, API on bank exams today. You can make payment via uh, SBI internet banking, Amazon pay wallet or Paytm or UPI. You can make payment by whatever option you want to make payment. Okay. So that is payment aggregator for making the if anybody if any company wants to make cross border transactions, they need to have a minimum 15 crore rupee net worth that should be the net worth at the time of application. At the time of application, 15 crore ka net worth and by 31st of March 2026, the net worth should be 25 crores and they should be comply with all the KYC norms. They must get a license from RBI. Uh, they should do the, all the fraud prevention measures, dispute re resolution mechanism should be there. They should submit periodic reports with the RBI. So a lot of regulations are there on them. Okay. So students, that's all for today. Central Bank of India Credit Officer Skill to Course is available on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, live sessions, weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance on Bank Exams today. You can check it. You will like it for sure. 
list of our successful students who crack the PNBSO credit officer, Bank of Maharashtra journalist officer, RRB scale 2, scale 3, 2022, 20. Uh, to Bank of Maharashtra, 21 RRB, 2020, 2019. All these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future. Link to join the course is available in the description. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day to watching the complete video. Bye-bye.